With modern video games mainly focusing on online multiplayer, local multiplayer seems to be slowly fading into oblivion. However, during the good old days, there were a few awesome titles that deserve some attention and are still incredibly fun to play today. Here are nine classic couch multiplayer games you should play right now. When I wanted something for my Nintendo 64. When you're talking about local multiplayer games, it's hard to ignore the Mario Kart series. So when it comes to racing karts with your friends, the Nintendo 64 version is probably the best one. It contains a four-player split-screen option and has some crazy battle mode arenas that we unfortunately missed in its sequels. Yep, we're talking about you, Blockfort. You were awesome. Bomberman is a crazy multiplayer extravaganza on its own, but the Saturn version kicks it up a notch by including a 10-player mode. That's crazy, isn't it? Besides that, Saturn Bomberman is one of the best games in the series as well, so don't hesitate and gather all your friends to blast each other to pieces. <laughs> The Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventure was simply made for local multiplayer. However, the investment you had to make to play this game was huge. You needed four GBAs, four link cables, and a GameCube with the main game. It was all worth it in the end. The limited 3DS release might give you some of its epicness, or you can just hook up your old dusty GameCube and play it properly. Ready? Super Smash Bros. is an all-time favorite when it comes to couch versus gaming. The recent Wii U and 3DS versions may sport the most features, but nothing beats Melee. This second game in the series is well-balanced, accessible, and pretty hard to master. This one has kept us entertained for almost 15 years now, and we're still as excited to play a quick match now as we were when it first came out. When the cartridge of a game contains two extra controller ports, you know it's going to be a multiplayer fest. Micro Machines 2 was the best top-down racer back in the day and delivered tons of fun. Driving through the kitchen, living room or bathroom with miniature cars while blasting each other to pieces never gets old. When can we expect a proper sequel, Codemasters? The Worms series is one of the most classic multiplayer games of yesteryear. A game of worms always results in total mayhem as you bombed each other with sheep, holy hand grenades and banana bombs. Worms Armageddon only supports one controller, so you have to pass it around during this turn-based fest. The Mario Party games are almost fully responsible for the success of the minigame genre. The third part of the series is definitely the best, because it improved on the already sublime sequel. Many friendships were probably destroyed by this franchise, but let's be honest, the amount of fun we had while playing was definitely worth it. Until one of your friends stole your stars, of course. Multiplayer first-person shooters on a console are a joy to play in split-screen. Halo even made it possible to play the game with 16 players by linking four systems together. Brilliant! LAN parties were PC exclusive before, but Halo changed this instantly. Multiplayer first-person shooters like GoldenEye and Time Splitters 2 are quite awesome, but Halo definitely deserves a crown in this category. Okay, Wii Sports might not be the best or the most hardcore game on this list, but when it comes to picking a simple, fun yet addictive game that you can even play with your grandma, Wii Sports is our top pick. Tennis, baseball and bowling are our favorites and will keep you and your friends going for a while. Casual gaming has never been more fun than this one. What is your go-to multiplayer game? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to give us a like before you go. Yeah.